Wonderland. Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Aaron Hilliard from Mushroom Wonderland. Haven't seen you guys really in a minute because uh, we're right here in the dead of summer, so it's hot out, not a lot of mushrooms growing. Um, I just came across a uh, uh, Rusula Fotens group, uh, Stinking Rusula, right back here on the trail. Of course, I've came across a lot of tree conks, but uh, other than that, not too many species of mushroom growing out there this time of year in the Northwest. And uh, it is really dry here in the Northwest, despite everybody thinks that it just does nothing but rain here around the Seattle area. Uh, that's not true. It does rain, uh, you know, during uh, fall and winter and spring, but in the summer here in the West, it's actually drier than most of the rest of the country. So if you're in the Midwest or on the Eastern seaboard, you guys get uh, like thunderstorms and a lot of rain. It's really humid and good mushroom picking out east but here west of the of the rocky mountains really um it's just dry and arid it really doesn't rain during the summer except for a few sprinklings which we just had a little sprinkling this morning which is kind of cool i came for a walk in the woods and like i said i came across a couple of mushrooms but i came across something else that's really kind of interesting so i thought i would just show this and if you see this cluster of strange looking things at my feet I'd like to introduce you to the ghost pipe. So I'm going to flip this camera around and we'll have a look at these microtrophic plants. So they're not a mushroom, but they're really not a plant because they don't use uh, chlorophyll or, you know, photosynthesis like most plants do to create food. These actually feed off of, uh, off of the roots of these trees and stuff, kind of like a mushroom would, like a mycorrhizal mushroom. So I'm gonna flip this camera around. We're gonna take a look at what a ghost pipe is growing here right in Bremerton, Washington of all places. So check this out. The scientific name for the ghost plant is Monotropa uniflora. Monotropa meaning a single curve, like the bent part of the top of the stem, and uniflora for the single flower. This plant actually uses an intermediate host and it feeds off of the mycelium of a mushroom, which is then feeding off of the roots of a tree. It's quite a complex process, but if I were to come to this exact spot in the fall, I will find fruiting bodies of Russula brevipes, likely in this exact same area. The ghost pipe doesn't need sunlight, so it likes to grow in deep, dark, and damp forests and old growth forests across the country, excluding the central Rocky Mountains and the American Southwest. So if you notice, there's no green coloration anywhere in this thing. So it doesn't have chlorophyll or xylem or phloem like a regular plant would. This is actually kind of more like a mushroom in that it is connected to the roots of some trees down here near the base. And look at this cluster of them that's growing up and uh, just pushing the moss up. You can see in here, they sure are strange looking. Very alien looking plants. Just kind of tangled up like mushrooms might get. But uh, very, very cool. But these really do seem to like the old growth forest. So here we've got some really big old growth trees. This is like, a, you know, probably, um, been three or four hundred years since anybody came through here cutting anything so i just thought those were definitely cool enough to share with you i've came across a few patches of them out here and like i said this is a really an old growth forest this is a ancient old growth forest these trees are probably you know four or five hundred years old can't really count the rings in there there are ways to tell if you want to google videos about forestry and stuff super interesting stuff to be able to measure the height of a tree from the ground also to kind of determine the age and stuff but the uh, the ghost pipe or the microtrophic plant that grows here in association with these big trees uh, is doing really well this summer so pretty cool so not just talking about mushrooms on this channel we also will be talking about tree identification 
there's some tree id videos out there this time of year it's kind of hard to find mushrooms worth talking about so um, luckily there's some cool things like the ghost pipe growing so if you're new to the channel hit subscribe smash that like button and leave a good comment and i hope to see you on the next episode of mushroom wonderland take care everyone much love